welcome to another OET speaking session and today's setting is Operating Theatre Recovery Room. This is Sangeeta Gopi and with me is Madan who will enact the role of the nurse. So Madan, you are a nurse in an Operating Theatre Recovery Room. 80-year-old mm -hmm. Doris Mack is recovering after hip replacement surgery. Okay. She is receiving IV fluids. She has been able to tell you her name but seems confused about where she is. Mm -hmm. She keeps asking to see her daughter and to have a cup of tea. Okay. Your tasks are 1. Explain her the situation. Mm -hmm. 2. Check for understanding. 3. Re-explain if necessary. 4. Advise her that her daughter is waiting to see her in the post-operative ward. 5. Explain that hospital policy excludes visitors from the recovery room. Okay. Six, explain why she cannot have fluids by mouth at the stage. Okay. And your last task is assure her that she will be taken back to her ward shortly and then her needs will be attended to based on the doctor's orders. Okay. So here is your card and I will also give you paper and a pen. Mm -hmm. You have a preparation time of three minutes. All right. right? So the time starts now. Thank you. So Madan, that's the end of your time. Thank you. You have five minutes for the roll card. I'll stop you when your time is up. Okay. Shall we start? Yes. Yes. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. I... How are you feeling? Are you okay? Who are you? Anyway? Yes, I'm... My name is Madan. I'm one of the nurses working in this ward. Uh, Doris, you are in the hospital. Are you aware of it? No, what happened to me? Okay, um, you are in the hospital because uh, you underwent a surgery mm -hmm. and this is the post-operative ward means you are, uh, you are here because you uh, recently had a surgery. Okay. Okay. So, can, we, can I ask you some more questions? Is that okay for you? Uh, but well, I, I don't remember anything. Alright. Uh, as I told you, you are in the hospital, mm -hmm. so nothing to worry so much about it. And maybe your confusions are related to the effect of anesthesia which was given during the surgery. So don't worry so much about it. Uh, and even can, I, can I see my daughter? Yes, of course. But uh, not now because uh, this is post-operative ward, I mean recovery room, mm -hmm. uh, where visitors are not allowed. Uh, but I don't remember your name. What did you tell uh, me? Yeah, my name is Madan. Uh, Madan, I need to see my daughter right now. Okay, uh, Doris, please understand. This is the room where visitors cannot be allowed inside. So, but I'm, I'll make yeah, sure but that. I'm asking for my daughter. Yes. I just want to meet her once. Okay, I'll make sure that you're going to meet your daughter soon, uh, but not now. Uh, I'll just inform her Why? about your condition. Can, can you please call Bella? Her name is Bella. I'm sure okay. she must be waiting outside. Or, yeah, I know that. And she is waiting. I have already had a discussion with her mm -hmm. about your condition. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to, uh, like, at the moment you will not be able to see her. And don't worry about it because you will be moved to any, some other ward soon. So there you will be able to see her. And uh, I know that you are. You are just uh, confused a bit, mm -hmm. but nothing to worry so much and it is just an after effect of the surgery you had recently. Uh, how long do you think I should be here? Uh, maybe another three hours, that's oh, it. Oh, that's such a long time. Uh, um, can you do me a favor? Yeah, if uh, if I, if it allows. Uh, can I have a cup of tea? Oh, I'm really sorry uh, to say you can't have a uh, cup of tea right now, uh, Doris because you as i told you you had a surgery recently um, and you're still my throat is really dry I need okay to have a cup of tea uh, doris what i do is uh, instead of cup of tea i can offer you some other methods to uh, wet your mouth and just to i'll give you some of the swabs mm -hmm. and i'll give you a mouth care mm -hmm. so that you will not feel that uh, I'm sorry really, again I'm telling you that you will not be able to drink for another 3 hours and you will not be able to eat also. But why? Uh, because you are still under the effect of anesthesia mm -hmm. and it is just very common not to uh, give you anything for 3 to 4 hours soon after surgery. And when you are 
recovered well from the effects of surgery you will be moved to other ward and also you will be uh, given some drinks or food and also you will be allowed to see your daughter uh, but i also feel really frozen kind of okay i cannot feel anything much uh, yeah i know yes. that okay i'm i was about to say about it as this is also one of the effect of the surgery mm -hmm. you'll be all right very soon mm -hmm. and uh, we have some monitors here mm -hmm. and we will we are monitoring you very closely mm -hmm. so uh, there is nothing abnormal and everything whatever you're feeling right now is expected from our side mm -hmm. so I feel it will be all right soon mm -hmm. that means it will be all right two to three hours later so just you have to wait patiently and if you have any confusions just ring the bell and here is a bell mm -hmm. and I'll be happy to help you out again okay uh, yes could you tell me when I can meet my daughter uh, yeah I told you uh, already Doris you can meet your daughter three hours later and okay. you will be allowed to give uh, allowed to eat something and drink something after three hours oh, so uh, can I get a cup of tea later uh, yes of course uh, you can have a cup of tea or uh, maybe you can have water maybe something else to eat as well mm -hmm. uh, unless there are some complications but I'm hopeful that there will not be any complications oh, okay. uh, and um, as I told you you are in the hospital mm -hmm. and your thoughts are just muddled because uh, you are, it's just an after effect of surgery so nothing okay. to worry so much. I'll be here for your comfort uh, for a few more minutes if mm -hmm. you want me to be mm -hmm. and just don't worry we'll be meeting your daughter very soon as well. Um, oh yeah hopefully thank you so much. Okay and do you have any other concerns uh, Doris? Um, thank you mother that's the end of your time. Thank you. Hi so you just seen Madan enact the role of the nurse and he was talking to Doris Mack, a patient who had just undergone a hip replacement surgery. An operating theatre or a recovery room is where there are a lot of restrictions for the patient. Now it is expected for the patient to be really confused about the situation and not be clear about what is really happening. So that is what exactly you saw Doris enact. She was really unsure of where she is. She couldn't recollect anything and she was, if you've noticed, uh, most of the time she wasn't even listening to the nurse. All she wanted to do was meet her daughter. So if you are a nurse at an operating theatre or at a recovery room, you will find or encounter such patients. You have to understand their situation but at the same time, you will also need to explain to them what exactly is happening. They will be highly confused, so you cannot expect them to remember that they had just undergone a surgery or what is wrong with them, where they are, so they might request you of certain things which you may not be able to oblige. Like in this video, Doris was asking for a cup of tea and Madan was not able to give her that. So make sure you politely and firmly explain why that is not possible, give her the exact reasons. Tell her how, you know, being in a recovery room, there, there are chances of being infected. So there are a lot of precautions to be taken and anything can be done only with the doctor's instructions. Probably that was an area that Madan forgot to focus. So he uh, sort of confirmed that she would be able to get a cup of tea later after three hours. But probably could have added that, you know, anything can be done, maybe, you know, drinks or food but only once the doctor gives the orders. So the doctor will come, visit her, check her progress and once the doctor confirms and gives a go ahead, she can have any fluid or eatables that she would like to. Um, so these are certain things that you can be careful of when you are dealing with a patient at an operating theatre. So hope you found this video really helpful and do comment us and let us know what your requirements are for further videos. Thanks a lot for watching.